I have a problem. I love comic books. Can't get enough of them. But I seem to buy more than I can handle. I just end up leaving them on a chair in my room saying, Nah, I'll get to them at some point. But I don't. I just leave them in that chair. That damn comic book chair. Yeah, I bet you fuckers forgot there was an intro to this show. Welcome, everybody, once again to the comic book chair. I, of course, am your reviewer, Zeke Fowler, and I will be reviewing not a comic book to per se, but more a pilot for a comic book television show, which your influence could make it a reality. You, you see the picture. We're, we're, we're going to talk about the Amazon pilot of The Tick. Synopsis. The death of the terror, the worst supervillain to walk the earth, has caused a sigh of relief for humanity. However, Arthur, a man shaped by a traumatic event in his childhood caused by the terror, is out to prove that the terror's death is a ruse and he is controlling the city under everyone's nose. No one believes Arthur and shrugs him off as being crazy or paranoid. But one person believes him. A person baked in the rich bread of Mother Justice and served by her lover, Mama Destiny. That person is the Tick! Spoon, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, let's get to the characters. Arthur. Arthur was once an accountant who couldn't handle the world filled with superheroes. Well, he was an accountant and then superheroes have been a very trigger-worthy part of his life. Oh, they fuck his brain up real good. Once wanting to be one, till his dad, in an act of dry humor, was crushed to death by the very superheroes he worshipped that who were blinded by the terror, and then shot and killed right in front of him. Now he spends his time lying to his family and about taking his meds and not obsessing over the whereabouts of the terror whom he believes is real. Despite the fact that he hates superpowered people and he just and doesn't really care for their involvement, he still has the heart of a hero and wants to seek justice. If he's right or wrong, we'll find out. And then, of course, it wouldn't be the tick without the tick. Now, who is the tick? Good question. No one knows in any form of media. Well, you could say that the tick is a superhero who speaks in heroic speeches and fights for truth, justice, and spoon! He's a superhero with no humanity, no backstory, no background, and is out of place even in this superhero-filled world. The only thing he believes in is the call of death Destiny, and he goes wherever it takes him. Let's all the important characters. Let's get on to likes. The world is what I really like about this show. Unlike The Tick, which is mostly a absurdist look at superhero comics and how when you have a world full of them, how mundane the events of superheroics get. Well, not this one. In this world, the superheroes... There is a world full of superheroes. It's kind of like how the Marvel Universe does superheroes, in which it's still the real world, but you have goofy people in red and gold armor and, j and capes with hammers beating up aliens in front of everyone. There's a spectacle to it, but also people get hurt, people have to go to their jobs, pop culture is more or less unchanged, and... They just you just deal with the extra factor of now they're they are superheroes. You know, that's just what you gotta do. And um also in the the superheroes of this world are entirely are not like are entirely human as well. Um well, except for the terror who just seems to be the largest dick imaginable. There's a character like featured in the show. I didn't put him as part of characters because he's not as important as the Tick and Arthur who are clearly just the most important characters in the show. There's this character named uh, Superion. He's like the Superman of that universe and he's this glory hog asshole who's on the Whoopi Goldberg show. Whoopi Goldberg clearly became more, more successful than Oprah. I guess this universe is entirely based on a flip of a coin of who in the colored purple is going to be the most powerful woman in America. Even another superhero group called the Flag Five was completely taken out by a virus, you know, something that would normally hurt them, and they did not leave unscathed. They were killed. It's spoilers. Re shit has consequences in this universe. We are shown that. Now, juxtaposing that idea entirely, the tick is left unchanged from his comic book counterpart. This character of absurdism, the most superhero superhero imaginable, because, like, unlike other superheroes who have a day job or have a persona underneath them. The Tick is just the Tick. And the Tick is this, like, he's bright fucking blue where everything else is kind of like dulled and like even the whole world itself is sort of like kind of, even though it's like the Marvel Universe, it's very DC wash out, washed out, except for the Tick. 
He's bright blue, big, powerful. Um, speaks in <laughs> speaks in a monotropes and diatribes, and these long-winded, n unnecessary, nonsensical speeches about truth, justice, and beautiful destiny. And he believes to a T that he is a superhero. And he believes that Arthur is going to be his sidekick. And you can't stop him because that's just what the Tick's going to do. That's what happened in the Tick comic book. That's what's going to happen here. And like, and, he's just, and I love that. Dislikes. As I did state in a like, I like this because it was done really well. But still, other people might bitch about it. A dislike I will add is that this is not an adaptation of the Tick comic books. This is a take on the Tick. The Tick may be unchanged. But everything else is sort of is um, enriched. It's made with depth. Whereas the other one was intentionally not made with depth because that's the joke. Even though they did prove with animated Fox Kids show and the 1998 television series that you could just straight up do the tick with no and um, no alterations and still find success with it. Alibet, the tick TV show from the 1990s, was is a cult classic success. But it is success nonetheless. People are still entertained by this concept. I just wanted to give you a heads up that... If you're looking for a show that's going to be straight up the tick, no, you're not getting that. What you're getting is a superhero show with the tick in it. And I really like that premise because they do a damn good job out of it. Now it's time to bring this review to a close. And I'm going to give this pilot a 4 out of 5. Please support. As I said before, I now when I first started watching this show, until the tick showed up, I was a little peeved my own self. In which, oh god, they're just gonna do this huge reboot and like, we're gonna make it all dark, gritty, and cool. Despite the fact that it was well written and has this brilliant source of dry humor from the, from the fucking bullet goes off in the gun that says run on the track now. Because I can't form normal words like a human being. My brain don't work. Please help me, my brain don't work. But when the tick shows up, you're immediately reassured that this is gonna be a wacky adventure because everything may have changed around you, but the tick hasn't. Also, I don't know, I have a theory about what the tick really is in this show. I think we actually might get into that taboo of territory, but from what I've seen from this pilot, they'll do it great. The actors are wonderful. The dude they got to play the tick, Peter Stefanoschwitz, who is just fucking amazing. I know Patrick Warburton is like, you gotta put Patrick Warburton on the shelf, man, because this dude is the tick right now. Like, there may be another tick show down the line and they like, they do a better job, but fuck it, this man hits it out of the park and the show is worth watching on his performance alone. Now, as I said, this show has an influence to it. See, the way Amazon does pilots for their original programming is that they give the audience the pilot and they get to vote if they would like this show. So, right now, on Amazon, if you have Amazon Prime Video or not, by the way, if you have Amazon Prime, you have Amazon Prime Video, so kudos. Even if you don't, it's free to watch right now. Tell them if you like it, watch it, take the survey, and definitely support this bit of work because I would like 12 to 13 full season episode, like full season episodes uh. of this show. I burped. Any hoozles, show's over. That's been a tale from the comic book chair. Next week, it will be an actual comic book. I love you.